Hello Retro Gamers, you're very welcome. Just want to explain what I want to look at, which uh, all revolves around this cassette. And I don't know if you can see it, it's the Magnificent 7. Um, yours Sinclair, it's a little bit fuzzy there. Um, but in 1991, December 1991, um, I got hold of this fairy tape. So this is the actual cassette that I had, and it has a demo of Lemmings on it. And it's just four, four levels. And thus, my love of Lemmings um, began, or with this very cassette. This is the original one that I had. So uh, what I've done is um, I fired this up, and uh, I can't stream off my Spectrum um, because I just can't get the output to work. So I'm going to use an emulator, and I found the tape image. And I'm just going to revisit those four levels um, and see what really inspired me and captured, you know, captured my imagination to. Uh, have this uh, sort of adoration for the Lemmings game, and here is the actual Spectrum release um, that they did by the end. It comes in a quite a small little box, um, but here it is. And this was the full price release, but it all happened. It all started with this very uh, demo cassette, um, and most people would start on the 16-bit game probably with the ST or the Amiga, but I started on the Spectrum, which um, was a very impressive conversion for an underpowered machine, and it's quite funny that Lemmings ended up on 8-bit machines, 16-bit machines, and 32-bit machines, if you count the PlayStation version as well. So um, I'm going to have a little playthrough of um, that demo, and uh, let's see what it's all about and remind ourselves, and I haven't played that demo probably for a well, probably going back to the you know the early nineties when I had this tape, so it'll be fun to see what levels are included, uh, and uh, have a trip down memory lane. Okay, so I'm running the Fuse emulator here, and I've got the tape image. So uh, I must admit I prefer using real hardware, but uh, this will have to do for recording purposes. Um, and bear in mind, I'll be using the keys here. I've not set up a joystick, uh, and that's actually probably the way that I actually played it at the time. So getting used to the keys can be a bit of a headache. So this level here, I think is the, well, it's the second level in the full game. And um, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, as we'll see probably throughout this, trying to get to grips with the control scheme is a challenge. I think it's the classic QAOP, um, but spacebar pauses, um, but you use M, the M key to uh, perform the action and the N key tracks. So every now and again I get confused and uh, I'm hitting the space key expecting to execute uh, the move but then end up pausing the game. Um, anyway, on the emulator, um, you know, I think you can use the number keys to correspond to the skills as well as using Z and X. Um, so yeah, this is the first level. The first level in the demo. That's a nice gentle introduction. And I only have vague recollections of playing this demo, but I remember that I uh, was enchanted enough by it to uh, buy the full price game. So you'll see in the demo here, it's even giving you the level codes. So, um, you know, I wonder if they just cobbled it together quite quickly from the uh, final version. And then I think this is like the fifth level on the fun the fun levels. Um, but you can see the spectrum. Uh, I mean, this is on the 48k machine. Uh, it goes at a good pace. Uh, there I am screwing up with the control scheme, hitting space again. You can see in here that this uh, wall would only require one basher, but actually requires uh, two bashers because the space is not recognized as a solid object. So that's quite interesting. And then you can see this mesh. I always thought of it as a spider's web in the uh, Amiga version. Uh, it's a lot thinner. Uh, and I think in the Spectrum version, the most lemmings you can have out at any one time is 20, which is similar to other 8-bit versions, like the Game Gear and Master System. And I think the NES. And there you are, I've hit pause again. Uh, the only sound effects you get in a Spectrum version is the execution of, of the uh, action. Uh, in the 128k and the 128k version, you do get music, which I think is just a single track. This.
it's obviously two tone um, the map and characters you just got the black background and the uh, foreground and animation sprites are the same color um, but you know the user interface at the bottom at least has a bit of variation uh, I think this is a really impressive port uh, when you consider the spectrum came out in 84 I think and this was 91 and this game was really designed on the Amiga you know for the 16-bit era so uh, I think they've I think this conversion is a fabulous conversion. It's a great technical feat. It's even got the water animation there. You know, and it scrolls, characters move, goes at a fair rate. In fact, I'd say the CDI version runs slower than this. And there they go. So that's another level down. So here <laughs> yeah, uh, we all fall down. Um, th th this is where um, I really struggled. Um, they're not spaced out. I think uh, when I played this on the 3DO the other day, um, they were spaced out. Uh, this might be because this is the harder difficulty version. Um, but trying to, one, use the keyboard controls and um, yeah, <laughs> it was it was really tricky. Um, you know, if you had a mouse, um, it probably would be a bit easier. Um, but using the keyboard, trying to remember not to hit the space key, um, but the M key, and I have to get you have to get them all over the line. So uh, yeah, I messed up here, and I couldn't find the key. Um, I think to quit. So, uh, and at this point I hadn't realised that I needed all 20 lemmings. So yeah, I had to do it again. And then of course, because I'm playing on an emulator and it's a tape image, so it's not like a, you know, like a binary file. Um, it wants to reload the level, and god that brings back memories. So we'll see a bit of mucking about here. better rethink your strategy before you try this level again so uh, I think that's all the same as the final version so yeah you can see it's uh, you have to reload the level and I'd forgotten that you load the levels individually on the spectrum I think maybe on the 128k version uh, on the full release you don't have to do that as much so yeah this I mean, obviously I did finish this in the end, and uh, I think it was a bit jammy. I just managed to get it to work, but I'm trying another strategy here. I'm trying to uh, tackle them at the end, uh, and then go to the front, but of course, um, you know, they march on, they steam on, and then before you know it, um, you know, you've kind of lost control. But yeah, I'm going to blame the uh, keyboard uh, control scheme here. I nearly did it, I nearly pulled it off on this round, but uh, yeah, it didn't quite work. Again, we have to load the level. <laughs> Just forget this now on modern computers. But you know, there's um, this is this is definitely tricky. And there's that there's that example of pressing the N key. It will track a lemon, 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 lemon. Uh, it will track a lemming, but M executes the command. So the tracking is an interesting thing. Maybe that was in the Game Gear version. Um, but you can see here, this is a disastrous run. But all the levels are totally recognisable. You know, you can totally 
um, see what that level was in the 16-bit versions on the Amiga. You know, it's, it's obviously compressed to fit the smaller resolution, but it's it, it's you know it, it's done real justice. What what a real marvel of programming uh, this conversion was. I love Spectrum text loading. It's just such so much nostalgia. So yeah, this was, um, I suppose, just a fortuitous accident that I discovered Lemmings through the cover tapes. I mean, uh, you know, what a great way to discover software um, at the time, you know, through you know, basically a demo on a, on a tape. Um, you know, it's kind of a lost thing now, isn't it, the demos, really, and cover discs and cover tapes. Um, but, uh, you know, it was one of the great ways of getting some free software, because quite often you get some complete games. Um, but you got to try different things. And, um, you know, the Spectrum, you know, you, you could see there on the Magnificent Seven, you have seven, seven titles. Right, I've done it. So it only took four, four goes. So this is another tricky level. You can see it's compressed uh, in terms of size. And the skill sets you get, I think are different to the um, Amiga version, um, but you can see I've already let one go. But here, yeah, I'm going to really struggle to uh, execute the commands in time, so I want to get a builder going and then put a blocker in. So uh, here I'm scrambling around the keyboard trying to change the skills, so immediately I want to switch to a blocker. And you can't move the cursor when you've paused, which is really frustrating. So I've got it under control there, and the uh, um, the builder's on his way. You can see in this version the animation. You know, you can see the sprites. You've got the hair moving, the feet bobbing. I mean, it's it's all there. It's a really solid conversion. I can't sing its praises enough. And uh, you know. Four levels was a great way to introduce you to the game and encourage you to buy it. So I've messed up there. So this isn't looking too good, is it? So how did I get myself out of this pickle? <laughs> yeah, I am struggling with the, uh, you know, trying to play the game here. I know I do recover from this situation. So... Can I use an explo uh, an exploder? Is that what you call it, an exploder? I should know this. The countdown's there, the five to one. And we're off. Right, I think I've gone for the balls to the wall strategy here. I'm just gonna try and bash, just get everyone to bash and just, just make it happen. Ah, yeah, I'm going to do the blocker here, because obviously I'm recording this commentary after the fact. So, yeah, I think that's a tidy little strategy there. As soon as the character lands, ex execute the blocker, and it will do it on the right side for you. That seems to happen across all versions of Lemmings. So that's good, that worked. And the level should be clear, I should have enough. So there we go, the four levels complete. I don't know what you think, whether the four levels were a good representation of the game. Oh, look here, here's a glitch. So it took me a while to work out that there was still a lemming out there. Now I probably should have used a basher, um, but I decided to blow up this poor fellow. Um, so I don't know how he got stuck in there. He must have climbed over another lemming in the stampede. Um, but there we go, you get the nice uh, congratulations message. Uh, by Spectrum Lemmings, and that I did. So, uh, yeah, I think the demo is a good representation of the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, good stuff.